Hi guys, this is Zeb's Wordtastic here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Zeb's um an outro. Um, yeah, like the one I've just recently made. So first, you're going to go to Nova Skin Back Ground. You can search that up in Google, and I will also put this in the description. The link will just be above me right now. Um, so then you come down here and choose what you'd like. I'm going to do this. No, I'm going to do this. And it will take you down to the bottom of the page. And now you're ready to choose your characters. Um, I'm going to choose... me um come on load is that a name just wait I need to just use the name quickly oh let's pause the video there um, hold on. I'm actually not sure what his skin is, so I'm going to have to do my other skin. There's another Will Maloney skin. And now we're going to search up... Um, I don't think he's there. I'm going to have to search up. I'm going to put in her random person. And then for this last guy, I'm going to put in someone cool. Cool and nice and random. And I upload one. So, um, just putting all my guys in. Going through. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, it's hard to find this stuff. Hmm. Yeah, my awesome skin. Um, so now that that's done, we're going to go here. And we're going to select this small size here. Small size. Hmm. Um, now we're going to go back down to the bottom, and it should be done here. Now what we do is we get out here, and drag this here to our desktop. So now that that's saved, we're going to go to a program called Pixlr. I'll also put this link in the description. Go to Pixlr Editor. Create a new image. And now we go to the bottom. And we go to... Actually, no, sorry. We go to the top. And we choose what it was already on. Because now we go to File. Open that image. Um, desktop. Where's my desktop? Why can't anyone find a desktop? This is hopeless. Um, I'll be back once I've found my desktop. Um, so I found the desktop and my image, so I'm going to open it. Put it into here. Now we're going to drag this here to this white paper. And it's now going to be on the white paper. I'm going to get next to the old one. And it's right here on the white paper. Now we're going to go to here, edit, free transform. And then we're going to make it fit the page. Make it fit the page a bit better than 
It was before. Okay, that fits the page a bit better. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to... Um, we're going to go over here, quickly go and search up Twitter. Images. And here we have an icon. I'm just going to save this on our desktop. And now we're going to go to YouTube, get a nice YouTube icon, put that on our desktop, now we're going to go back to Pixlr. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Open an Image, this one, we're going to drag Mr. Twitter onto here, File, um, let's see, Free transform. Got the Twitter icon. Now we need the YouTube. Yes. File. Open image. Open. Yeah, you pretty much get it. And then, um, file. Free transform. Okay, so when you've got it all looking good, you've got a good picture template thing, all good. Um, you also want to put a little, yes, just going to keep it that small because I really don't care at the moment. Um, you want to go to squares and make a square about that big, so big there, keep that there. Then customize the rest of your page however you like. Um, put your Twitter and YouTube, and I'll show you what I did in the end. So, um, just gonna reload this page. Um, so this is what mine came out like in the end. Um, pretty nice, pretty nice. So that's what I did, and then what you're going to do is you're going to put your image onto your desktop. So you got your image here, and then you're going to go to iPhoto, load, Okay, now what you're going to do is file, um, and you're going to import, uh, where is it, export, no, drag it in. Drag it in, it should have a plus sign and it'll start importing. Um, if it wants to. Yeah, there, finished import. And there's your latest photo. You just keep that in there, exit out of it. It updates the library. Now we're going to go into here. And actually, we're going to go to iMovie. We can close all this now. All this is not useful anymore. Later. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to go bottom. Um, I'm going to add a new project. I'm just going to make it normal create. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to photos. Get a, get that photo I just imported. Slide it across. See, there it is. Perfect. Yep, 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 yep. And now we're going to change some stuff. Cropping and Ken's burns. We're going to go fit instead of Ken's burns thing. And now we're going to go clip. Um, we want to, you put how long you want your intro to be. I'm going to do mine for 10 seconds. About my normal amount. 
Okay, now that that's done, we're going to um. Ah, uh, this is the one without the box, but anyway, you're going to put. Um, you should have Twitter and stuff on this, your one, this is just because, whatever, I did something, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. So now you're going to get 10 seconds of your a video that you want. I'm going to put, that, I'm just going to put 12 or whatever. Now you're going to drag it onto that and put picture in picture. That's great. Now we're going to move it over, make it as long as it should be, perfect. Now up here we're going to drag to where we want this to be. Um, it would usually be in your black box where you put that black box, but I don't have the black box here and you usually have your Twitter and stuff or whatever down there. So now we've got this, we're going to go into this and click um, audio adjustments and then turn the volume way down now what we're going to do is we're going to go into music um, I really like this outro music because it's called my awesome outro music put it on the whole thing and look at this we have now completed our intro outro See, it's got a playing video, it should have your Twitter and stuff down there, and as everything else, goodbye guys, see you guys later. Goodbye.